Hi you guys, in this lesson we are adding unlike fractions, but before we work with an algorithm and the steps to solve, we're going to show you what exactly it is that we're doing when we add unlike fractions. So the word unlike means that the denominators are the same. So if you think about that, we're working with different sized fractions, different amounts. But if you want to add them, we have to convert the fractions to be the same amount. So we're going to show you how we do that using models. I highly recommend to get some fraction models. You can get these at the dollar store. You can make them out of paper. You could print some off the computer. If you use fraction models and you actually have manipulatives to move around, it's way more fun and it makes a lot of sense. But I'm gonna just show you by drawing them. So they're not gonna be perfectly um, measured correctly, but I'm gonna show you how you would do so and so you can get started in your assignment. So again, if you're following along in McGraw-Hill, we are in chapter nine and we are on lesson four. So this is called hands-on or using models to add unlike fractions. So here we go, we're gonna get started. I'm gonna do two examples for you. Our first example says to add the following fractions. Two thirds plus one sixth. So why are they unlike? Because this denominator here and here, they're not the same. I can't just add across. So we need to get these numbers the same. But we're going to show you how you do that using fraction tiles. So we're going to represent these as models. So if I have two thirds, that's the same thing as saying I have a third and another third. Would you agree? I have two thirds, right? One third plus a third. We're going to add that to a shape that would be one out of six. So think two out of three. So we're talking about, let me go back, what a third is. If I have one piece out of three pieces, that's a pretty big piece. But what if I only had one out of six? That would be a lot smaller. So our one out of six shape, and if you have manipulatives, you'll see that a one six shape is a lot smaller. So what I want to do is I want to convert the three into a six. I want it to be, I want to know how many six equals the same amount of adding all these together. So I want to create fraction tiles that have a six at the bottom and I want to know how many equal this amount because remember I'm adding these two thirds plus this six, how many total do I have? But I want to convert it with a six at the bottom. So that's why I want to know how many six would this be? So what you would do is you would line up your fraction tiles, and again, mine aren't perfect, and you would line them up and see how many fit underneath. And what should happen is you should have five six. I have a one six, one six, one six, one six, one six. Total, I have one, two, three, four, five. So our answer is five six. So if I add two thirds plus a six, what is that amount with a six at the bottom? It equals to the same amount as five six, okay? All right, let's go ahead and do another example. And again, if you have manipulatives, foam pieces, or paper even, or something you printed out online, this will make more sense when you can actually move the tiles around because they'll be perfect in size for you. Let's say I have one half plus one fourth. All right, so notice the denominators are the same, but I'm gonna represent them as uh, tiles or models. So if I had half of a piece, there's a half of something, and then a fourth is definitely gonna be a little bit smaller, as one out of four is a smaller amount than only one out of two. I want my denominator down, I want my denominator answer to be a four. So I need to know a half plus a fourth is how many fourths? So I'm gonna go ahead and find out. Let's see. So if you took your fourths tiles and you fit them under here, how many fourths does it equal? One fourth plus a fourth plus a fourth. How many do you have? I have three. So the answer is three fourths. A half plus a fourth is three fourths. 
because the tiles that would fit underneath, I'm trying to figure out what is the equal amount, right? If I, if I have a half plus a fourth, this amount here is the same amount as three fourths. Do you see how it's equal in length? It's the same amount, okay? So that's what we're doing when we add. So I want you to check out the next lesson. I'm gonna show you the algorithm, but be sure you understand what we're doing when we change the denominators, why we do it so that we can represent fractions in order to add or subtract.